Good morning, guys. So I am live inside Bellevue Christian Center where they're getting ready to host a special Thanksgiving meal later tonight for some special guests. And here to tell us more about it, joining me this morning is Pastor Richard. Pastor, how are you doing this morning? Doing good. Uh, so Feed the Multitudes, it's our community outreach event where we're going to invite families who would probably struggle to provide a Thanksgiving meal for themselves to come have Thanksgiving with us. But one of the things that we really want to do is instead of just feeding them a meal that's going to last a night, we want to do something that's going to have a lasting impact through this next season of life. And that's why we have all these coats. Is There's a lot of kids, and I don't know if we're aware, that there's a lot of kids that are going to go to school this winter that don't have a coat. There are men and women who are going to have to walk to, to work who don't have a coat or hats or gloves. And so we're collecting those so that tonight everyone can walk home with at least some of the essentials they're going to need for winter. And anything that we don't use tonight uh, is going to go to the Open Door Mission afterwards, and it's all going to be handed out to people who need it. And I'm glad you brought up the Open Door Mission because actually most of the guests are going to be coming from there, yeah. right? Yeah. So tell us a bit about this partnership. It's been going on for quite some time. How many people are you expecting this evening? So we're expecting anywhere from 1,500 to 1,800 people tonight that we're going to either bus in or they're going to drive themselves here. That is amazing, Pastor. Thank you so much for your time. I do appreciate it. Yeah. All right, folks, so if you want to drop off donations, all you have to do is just head over to Bellevue Christian Center. We're going to have more of that information with the story on our website at 3newsnow.com. Live in Bellevue, Shante Passmore, 3 News Now, this morning.